guys welcome to another video and another question today i have a question from random variables let x be a continuous random variable with pdf given to you as ax square when x is between 0 to 1 it is b upon x to the power 4 when x is greater than or equal to 1 it is 0 otherwise where a and b are positive real numbers if expected value of x is equal to 1 then what would be expected value of x square? Will it be just 1? Will it be 2 by 5, 7 by 5 or will it be 3 by 5? So let's start calculating. It's a calculative question but it's quick calculation. It's not uh, too much to handle in any entrance exam. You have fx with you. And you should know what is expected value of a random variable. It is in the entire domain x, fx, dx in the entire domain. Okay. So it's from minus infinity to infinity. Now your function is actually defined in a particular way. It is defined minus infinity to 0, the probability is just 0. So, nothing there. From 0 to 1, it is, probability is ax square. So, expected value will be x into ax square dx. From 1 to infinity, it is given to us as probability is b x to the power minus 4. So, expected value will be x b x into b x to the power minus 4. So, this is how you can write down your expected value. Expected value will be the sum of these integrals. So, from 0 to 1, a x cube dx plus from 1 to infinity b x cube dx right and that is equal to 1 so with b you'll have minus 3 because it's minus 4 into x so b x to the power minus 4 plus 1 gives you minus 3 this is equal to 1, right? This is equal to 1. So, let's just integrate it. So, once you integrate, you will get a x to the power 4 upon 4. And you'll have to put the bounds 0 to 1 plus b times x to the power minus 2 upon minus 2 bounds 1 to infinity. Now, this is equal to 1. So, let's put the bounds. We'll get 1 upon 4 or a upon 4 right 1 upon 4 into a or a upon 4 because it's just 1 minus 0 here plus here it will be it's actually a minus sign b upon minus 2 but then let's put the bounds so when you will put x to the power x to the power minus 2 and x is infinity so infinity to the power minus 2 that means infinity is in the denominator so you will get minus and then 1 to the power minus 2 so that will give you 1 so you will get 0 minus 1 from here in other words what you will get is a by 4 minus minus makes it plus plus b by 2 is equal to 1 right so this is an equation that you are getting it's it's an equation that you are getting a plus 2b equals to 4. It's an equation that you are getting in two variables a and b. Okay. Let's put it as 1. Now, if I have just one equation in two variables, I, I can't solve it, right? I can't solve for a unique value or I can't solve it for a and b. This could be um, satisfied by infinitely many. But what we do know about uh, probability is that the total probability is always equal to 1, right? So that means if I look at 
the total probability probability over all the x's fx dx that should be equal to 1 that means 0 to 1 what's our function our function is a x square right a x square dx plus from 1 to infinity integral of b x to the power minus 4 dx this integral should also the sum of these two integrals should give you 1 so this implies you get a x cube upon 3 from 0 to 1 plus b x to the power minus 3 upon minus 3 from 1 to infinity this should be 1 which gives us a by 3 plus b upon minus 3 and here again what will happen you will get 0 minus 1 is equal to 1 or in other words a by 3 plus b by 3 equals to 1 that is a plus b is equal to 3 a plus b is equal to 3. Now I have two equations in two variables. So from here I can say b is equal to 3 minus a. Now substituting this in 1 we will get a it was a plus 2b equals to 4. So a plus 2 into 3 minus a equals to 4. So that means a plus 6 minus 2a equals to 4 which basically means that I have minus a is equal to minus 2. That implies a is equal to 2. If a is equal to 2, that implies b is equal to 3 minus 2, that is 1. So a is 2 and b is 1. If a is 2, b is 1. What we need to find is e x square guys what we need to find is e x square so how do i do that e x square is integral integral in the entire domain of x square f x dx so that will be equal to from 0 to 1 x square now you have a with you a is 2 so this will be let me just write down ax square first so that there's no confusion. From 1 to infinity, it will be x square b x to the power minus 4 dx, right? So solving for this, now we know what a is. a is 2, I can take 2 outside. This is x to the power 4 dx plus we know what is b, b is just 1. So 1 outside, 1 to infinity x to the power minus 2 dx and let's integrate so you will get 2 x to the power 5 upon 5 0 to 1 plus it's x to the power minus 1 upon minus 1 1 to infinity so it's going to be 2 by 5 from here plus it's just going to be 1 from here. So 2 by 5 plus 1 will give you 7 by 5. Do we have an option which is giving us 7.5? Yes, I think. Yes, C option should be the correct answer for this question. I hope this helps in uh, recapping what is expected value of not just x but x square. Similarly, when you have to calculate expected value of x cube, how would you go about it? Thank you.